うわー相変わらず不気味なところだな調べる必要がなかったらオイラ絶対にこんなところ来なかったぞあ見ろよ誰かいるぞおや旅人とパイモンまさかこんなところで会うとはどうしてエンヒがここにいるんだいつもはリーユエコーで仕事してるだろなんでまたこんな人のいないところにああ実は今回少し特殊な仕事を受けたんだだが双眼鏡園の底がこんな風になっていたとはね私もこの目で見るのは初めてだああそれよりも二人にお願いがあるんだ何者かが私のことを探していてなもし私のことを聞かれたら見ていないと答えてくれないかえ何があったんだ違うんだでも説明すると長くなるとにかくうまくごまかしてくれじゃあまたなうエンヒのやつを本当に言っちゃったなうんどうしようおいらんなんだか急に怖くなってきたぞあいつ法を破ってここまで逃げてきたんじゃないよなまさか何か恐ろしい事件を起こしてたりが甘いぞ世の中はなすっごく複雑なんだ最悪の事態を想定しておかないと万が一何かあったらオイラたち遠視の共犯者になっちゃうぞだいやここは遠視をかばってやるべきかうんそれともくん悩ましい。おいそこのお前あっほんとに誰か来たぞでもこの声どこかで聞いたことあるようなガッ<笑>まさかこんなところでお前らに会えるとはななんだ休暇でも満喫中かおお前たちその様子からして相変わらず愉快に過ごしてるみてえだな俺様もだぜ<笑>あれお前の後ろにいる人ってはじめまして新滝派の久喜忍ですへへへ忘れるところだったぜ。紹介してやる。こいつは、俺ら、荒竹派の中でも、一番のやり手、忍だ。おお、荒竹派の人だったんだな。こいつは、花見坂で活動する、凄腕なんだぜ。荒竹派に入んのも、当然の流れだな。しかもだ、荒竹派の厄介事は、いつも、忍がやってくれてる。なんなら、お前たちの面倒も、忍が見てやってもいいぞ。親分の友人ならば、私の友人でもある。旅人にパイモン。二人とも会えて光栄だ。おいいやつだなじゃあ、おいらも忍って呼んでいいかああ。今後ともよろしく頼む。実は、近いうちに二人には世話になりそうな予感がするんだ。でも言っとさっき「新たき派の厄介事は忍がやってくれてる!」って言ったよなそれなら忍の方が親分にふさわしくないかバカなこと言うんじゃねえパイモン親分はこの俺様に決まってんだろ天下第一花見坂新たき派の親分はこの俺様以外にありえねえ
なるほどダメ親分と凄腕の部下ってとこだなおい<笑>まあいいお前のその小さな脳みそじゃ理解できないのも無理ないことここは俺様が大人になってやるそれよりも本題に入ろうお前ら桃色の髪をした法をなんとかかを見なかったか物知りで小柄で変な帽子をかぶってるやつなんだがはっリーウェの法律家で名をエンヒという二人なら知ってると思ったんだがえ見たこともあったこともないぞ知り合いだなんてそんなことありえないほう会ったことあるみてえだなおいらな何も言ってないぞでたらめ言うなよビクビクしてんのが見え見えだぜどうやら図星のようだな嘘をつくとき人は無意識に目が泳ぐものだパイモンだが安心してくれ私たちに悪意はないお前らエンヒのことを知ってるのか知ってるも何もそいつは俺様の命の恩人なんだ命の恩人あれそういえば二人は何しに双眼鏡園まで来たんだサイキン稲妻の鎖国令が解除されたことは知ってるか忍は卒業証書を取りにリーウェに来たんだだが一人で遠出するのは危険だろだから、俺もついてきたってわけだ。卒業証書リーウェの学校にでも通ってたのかああ。リーウェの同文学塾で法学を学んでいた。ただ残念ながら、卒業前に一度実家へ帰ったところ、ちょうど鎖国が始まってしまってな。それで卒業証書をもらうのが、数年遅れてしまったんだ。リーウェコーで用事を済ませるため並んでいたところ、親分が洗顔軍と揉め始めてな。連行されそうになった親分を、通りがかったエンヒさんが助けてくれたんだ。あの恩人の助けがなけりゃ、今頃はリーウェの老四だから。だから、その例に彼女を手伝ってやりてんだよ。だが、手伝いは不要だと言われちまった。そんなことあり得ると思うか生きてりゃ何かしら困ったことに遭遇するもんだろうだから彼女の後を追っていざという時に助けてやろうと思ったんだ待て待て俺様は本当に彼女を守ろうとしてるだけなんだ何やら重要な仕事で急いでるみてえだったからよ。この世で何か偉業を成し遂げるには困難は避けて取れねえ。そんくらいお前もわかんだろ俺様は良かれと思ってしてんだ。旅人おお、そうか。恩に銀ぜ。んじゃ、俺たちは探しに行く。出発すんぞ、勝負恩人さん、俺様が駆けつけるまで持ちこたえろよ。ありがとう。じゃあまた。さっき、わざとイットに嘘ついただろう。多分、忍はお前の言ったことを信じてなかったと思うぞ。それか、イットがあまりにしつこいから、縁起に迷惑かけないように、忍も配慮したのかも。あの忍ってやつ、なかなか切れ者だな。これでも、縁起を探すやつはいないはずだ。後で本人に会ったら、このことを教えてやろうぜ。よし。じゃあ、オイラたちは、柱がぶつかったところに行こう。
didn't they? We sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Huh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer, too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A... Uh, a will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Oh? So you do know what kind of place this is. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelon's around. Uh, who is she? This is Yelon. Liyue's, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? <laughs> anyway, she's a friend of mine. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Uh, Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> well, and I thought we were buds. That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Oh! <coughs> Why, you! 
Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Thanks for the suggestion. I'll consider it. Oh yeah? And what if we don't leave, hmm? Boss! Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? Wow. <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Oh no, I'm going in whether she likes it or not! <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? You too. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... Huh? Uh oh, it's a... Ah! Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, uh huh? Huh? Uh, 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 uh! my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. <sighs> this place... Where are we? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. <sighs> hey, Shinobu, Traveler, and my savior, is everyone okay? Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Hmm. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. <laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yelon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. Uh, hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! Whoa, whoa! What do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. You calling me an idiot? Oh yeah? Well, you're a... a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Uh, Bullchucker! Mm, you better mind your manners, Bullchucker! We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. 
It's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelon is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelon's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, well... I guess that includes her too. You said Yelon works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? Uh, you're so stingy these days! Oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh, for the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey, I am too a sharp tool! There seems to be an entrance up ahead, with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well, let's go take a look. Main entrance in a place like this. If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Leo mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> It's Xiao. 
conqueror of demons. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Wanna team up? No, I have something else to do. I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. Well, that's show for you. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. Huh, that guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, Bull Checker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh, he wouldn't listen, no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough, though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but, uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow-the-leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yelon is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. Oh, this place is actually pretty cool. If we weren't in such a hurry to get out, we could kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. There is no escape!
escape. I will have order. Huh? Wait, this ain't right. Uh, uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Yes, this is exactly where we started. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah, Paimon's heard that one before too. So we're all familiar with the story then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But fear not, I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Unbelievable. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. You're up, Ushi. Go get the spirit. <laughs> this is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Oshi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now... It seems even that exit has disappeared. 
inexplicable if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? N no. Paimon's super brave. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the Traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior, just Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership. Ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <sighs> Seems there's really no way out. <sighs> I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito... You're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Uh, no. Ignore the red horns, okay? I, I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss. You've been found out. What? Me? <laughs> no way! What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Stop choking around. Uh, seriously, though. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. Uh, maybe I should make better use of my time. Add a little salt and some pepper. Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Oh right, there are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yenfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelon, we split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. 
How about you? Did you manage to find anything? No. And, though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? Xiao! Oh, right! Do you want to get in to help us? Sure! Let's give it a shot! Huh. Huh. No response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa. What's up, Sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in a life-and-death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? <laughs> Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on, is it still warm? Oh, oh, oh that does smell good. Mm. Fine, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll have a quick snack and then we'll, uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all, leave a couple for me!